The topic of immigration has been at the forefront of many people's minds recently. According to the city of Denver, the city has served more than 42,000 people since December 2022. The Denver Asylum Seeker Program, which provides workforce training and legal support services, is currently serving around 850 people. However, some say Denver is seeing too many migrants. Your reporter in Douglas County, Olivia Young, joins us live now tonight. And Olivia, earlier this month, the Castle Rock Town Council voted unanimously to explore suing the city of Denver over its migrant policies. And as you reported, Douglas County already filed a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. That's certainly right. That one was against Col the state of Colorado and Jared Polis. And it's not just Douglas County, El Paso, Elbert, Garfield, Mesa, and Rio Blanco counties are all a part of that lawsuit, which challenges two state laws that prevent local governments from cooperating with the federal government on immigration. Now, Castle Rock, Parker, and even Aurora may take similar action. Castle Rock Town Councilman Max Brooks says Denver has had trouble housing newcomers and they're spilling over into neighboring communities. This isn't just a decision that Denver gets to make because it's impacting the rest of the Front Range. So the idea is to join with other municipalities and say it's time to stop. Brooks put forth the motion directing Castle Rock's attorney to explore a lawsuit against Denver. He says neighboring municipalities have already expressed interest in joining. Our town attorney office has already had conversations with Douglas County, with the city of Aurora, and also the town of Parker. It's too early to know what that lawsuit may entail or if Castle Rock would join the existing lawsuit against the state of Colorado. It's not clear how many, if any, migrants are living in Douglas County. You don't wait until the hurricane is on you to board up your windows and leave town. We understand that there is a storm coming. But a recent post from the Douglas County Sheriff's Office announcing the arrests of 11 car thieves listed three of them as Venezuelan nationals. It led to widespread concern on social media. It is happening. We are having issues here in Douglas County. We are having migrants come in here. There have been incidences of crime. This Castle Rock father told me he's concerned by reports of gang activity in Aurora and believes it could spill over into his community. He supports the town's decision to explore a lawsuit. Brooks has empathy for asylum seekers and says he's not labeling all migrants as criminals. This isn't about labeling or saying that the migrants need to be deported. It's not about that. It's about stopping and making sure that we're not bringing in any more when obviously Denver is not able to handle what has already happened. Now it is a weekend and we have not yet heard back from the city of Denver on a request for comment. The next step will be attorneys for interested towns and counties getting together and discussing their legal options. Brooks says any other Colorado municipalities are welcome to join in those conversations. Karen. All right, Olivia, thank you for your reporting. We appreciate it. Olivia is your reporter, your neighbor in Douglas County. She grew up in Castle Rock, graduated from Douglas County High. Her family still lives in Dudco. Olivia, of course, committed to getting answers for them and you. Olivia is just one of your reporters all across the state, getting to the bottom of issues that matter to you and your family. So if you have a story idea for your reporter, just send us an email on our website tonight.